Columbia University is fortunate to host uh, many of the top climate scientists in the world. Uh, and many of them work, uh, as Art Learner Lamb and I do, at the Lamont campus of Columbia University, about, thank you, 15 miles north of the main campus and on the other side of the Hudson River. We have uh, experts uh, from the tropics to the poles. We have uh, experts in observations pertinent to climate uh, and, and the most sophisticated models, uh, among the most sophisticated models uh, in the world uh, on the workings of climate. Our climate scientists made the first effective predictions of El Nino Southern Oscillation uh, that are now done more or less routinely on the basis of the work laid out on our campus. We also have many scientists who are working on the climates of the past. There is an enormous uh, library of climate information to be found in ice, in sediments, in corals, uh, in caves, in trees uh, that tell us about past times in Earth history that were somewhat similar to the modern era and how the Earth responded to changes in all of the important forcing uh, of our climate system, uh, and therefore offer lessons uh, for us today. But uh, climate science is only part of what Columbia does uh, in terms of studying the climate and the impact of climate change. And Lamont uh, Doherty Earth Observatory is part of a much larger umbrella organization at Columbia known as the Earth Institute. And the Earth Institute brings together climate scientists with many other experts from other fields who are studying uh, climate in many different ways. We have experts working in the areas of public health, in the area of engineering, uh, in the area of public policy, in the area of agriculture, in the area of sustainable development. And as you'll hear tonight, uh, we have experts working at the intersection of science and economics and psychology and law. 